So this is going to be like a handout at the show. Still going to figure out how it's going to be displayed, but... Designing a detail as simple as a display is thrilling for artist Evan Apodaca as he installs his work at the Athenaeum Art Center in Logan Heights. Its debut there tomorrow caps a bumpy journey. In March, San Diego International Airport officials unceremoniously stripped the wall near Gate 48 of Apodaca's public art video piece, critical of San Diego's military presence, after an onlooker called it woke BS. That person's comments um, went all the way up to the chain of command in the airport, um, which were the which directly caused the removal of the artwork. The artwork is named Monumental Interventions. It expresses opposition to the local military industrial complex and its role in world conflicts through the mouths of beheaded statues of well-known figures. The severed heads are computer animated and speaking the words of San Diego residents. A statue of former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher asks this. Do we want to continue to, to create uh, an economy that believes in death and destruction? Just weeks before the airport slammed the door on the piece, Apodaca says the Athenaeum opened theirs to showing the work at its center. Executive Director Christy Mitchell declined an interview, but in a statement, she said the center was interested in offering Apodaca a solo show because of his hyper-focus on issues affecting Southeast San Diego. Mitchell added, quote, his video works are the result of years of research and thinking, and we are excited to be making them available to our audiences and to provide a space for various perspectives. Apodaca says the Athenaeum's invitation has renewed his excitement about the project he started in 2017. It's not easy to enjoy sometimes because the subject matter is so intense. It's, it's about violence, you know? Um, and so uh, the fact that someone wanted to support it and, um, and wanted to support me in getting these ideas out there was, it just felt like a dream come true. Elizabeth Larison of the National Coalition Against Censorship has called the removal of Apodaca's work from the airport censorship. She says the advantage to showing artwork in non-governmental spaces like galleries and museums is they may be more receptive to contentious ideas. Particularly if it goes with um, their brand or their mission or the artistic tastes and expectations of, say, like their clients and their audiences. They may be less um, concerned with controversy. And while it may seem like Apodaca's art might get fewer eyeballs at a gallery instead of an international airport, Larison says suppressed work, any kind, draws even more interest. That's what happened when singer Barbara Streisand tried to get the California Coastal Commission to get rid of a photograph of her Malibu home taken to document erosion. I think in the case of some artists, um, when they are censored, there's something called the Streisand effect, which takes place, um, which means that the, the attention brought by the censorship act itself can help artists show with other places. Apodaca expanded monumental interventions to include a segment on the grave environmental effects of the nearby Navy base and shipyards on Barrio Logan, considered one of the most polluted communities in California. The communities that are adjacent to these shipyards that lost their access to the ocean um, when these shipyards were, were uh, created um, are communities that have the highest rate, highest pollutants, uh, highest rates of asthma and other and other diseases among the population. Apodaca has also added pieces to the exhibit. One highlights San Diego's anti-war movement in the 1960s and 70s. Another is a tapestry of headlines documenting the Red Scare in the early years of the Cold War. And he has created a map depicting San Diego's defense contractors, what they produce, and where they sell their weaponry. We know it's a military town. Um, but we don't know the exact violence that is inflicted. And when you see these specifics, the specifics of the violence, um, those are things that 
individuals in San Diego don't know much about. But he adds, those are the very things we need to know. Amita Sharma, KPBS News.